Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 10th, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have run into uh, we have run into resistance here just up, just underneath the 200 moving average. So we were way, way overstretched. If we looked at look at the Bollinger Band for this, you can basically see the reason why we are pulling back now is because we have been way outside of this uh, of this area for far too long and a pullback towards the 20 exponential or the previous highs here that is probably what we're going to see so we we'll probably have uh, one more day or two more days where this will pull back if it then tests the 20 exponential down here at the 91.05 and breaks through that then we could head lower but it looks like that uh, things have we're going to see a pullback first and this will be really positive for commodities and uh, precious metals and also stocks and so on uh, but i would not be surprised if it bounced off the 20 exponential but for the short run it's most likely going to drop further probably found some support here at the 91.5 and then the 20 exponential at 91.05 Technically, the are still slowing, uh, turning around, so that is most likely where we are going to. So let's look at oil. So oil just went uh, bananas yesterday and then fell really, really hard. And it fell yet again today. And now we're heading towards the middle again of the Bollinger Band. So yes, there is uh, the typical thing that happens in the in the middle east that uh, oil disruption uh, basically becomes uh, a factor that increases oil prices significantly i remember the last one was basically over here that was an uh, iranian uh, rocket that hit the facility in united in, in saudi arabia and uh, well it went up like 14 or 15 percent in one day so that are things that can happen and uh, we saw a taste of that yet again this time, even though we are really, really um, in a massive run here to the upside, we still managed to break above the, the Bollinger Band and now we're heading back towards the middle. So the 61, 61.36 uh, uh, is most likely where we'll find uh, support as the 50 now at 20 exponential offered massive support in the past both here 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 uh, break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the bottom of the bullish band at the uh, 57 and the 50 moving average technical numbers are turning around so we'll most likely see a gradual grind towards the downside in the next few trading days so let's look at natural gas so as you can see this continues to fall and um, as uh, weather conditions in the united states and so on become better then this will most likely uh, will continue to fall so we have the 200 moving average right underneath here that's going to offer a major support so uh, if we fall then we will most likely will bounce off the, the, the 200 moving average it um, yes it basically seems that the rally that we saw here was due to the cold weather conditions that we saw in the United States, uh, increasing demand for for uh, for natural gas and uh, therefore increasing the price. At the moment, 200 looks like it's going to be the target. Uh, rallies from here will probably see resistance from the 50 and the 20 exponential. Technical English are very bearish, so this could go continue lower. So we did have a kind of inverted flag here, fall, go to the upside, and then fall yet again, probably the length of this, this pole. So let's look at uh, copper. So yes, copper has basically been all over the place. We are creating a resistance line here that we have to break through before uh, going higher. We can also say that this is uh, basically the bottom here. So it could be possible that we break the 20 exponential, head towards this corner before taking off. The 50 moving average will travel this way. So that was, will also offer support. So we'll probably see a few trading days before 
if this continues to the upside. A break below here, that opens the door all the way down to 3.5. Uh, otherwise, uh, the target uh, will be 4.32. Uh, Technical indicators are all turning around except the stochastic. So the MACD is negative, the CCI is negative, RSI is negative, but the stochastic is still um, uh, right at the signal line at this stage. But we got way ahead of ourselves um, right here in the, in the copper market and uh, pullback was very expected as this was way outside of the Bollinger Band. But it's going to be interesting whether or not we uh, fall in towards this corner or we break toward, uh, out of this resistance line in the next few trading days. So let's look at gold. So gold had a really good day today and uh, yes, uh, like you say, uh, finally. So we uh, fell all the way down towards the slows here at 1677. So we have thought that gold was going to go all the way to 2100, 2300 uh, only a few months ago. Well, I was completely wrong when it came to this. Uh, this has basically created a, a support line here, tested it three times now at the and basically bounced up it, which was also fairly expected. The question is whether or not we see a rally towards the highs. So we have additional support uh, resistance line right here, which um, which um, we most likely are. I would be up to my <laughs> very, very surprised if we rallied all the way up towards this area because that would be around 1800 plus. Uh, I think it's more likely at this point that we will find resistance at uh, 20 exponential and the 50. So rally up towards the 20 exponential, that's around 1750 or the 50, the 50 moving average is at 1800, give or take. So we'll most likely get rejected at the 20 exponential as we got it here, here, and so on. So break below this resistance line, that opens the door all the way down to 1500. Technical indicators are slowly turning around, uh, but this has been also a massive fall for the gold market. So let's look at silver. So silver also bounced uh, back today. We have a crossing here at the 20 and, and, uh, and 20 exponential and the 50. It's going to be a question whether or not the 20 and the 50 are going to act as resistant or whether or not we manage to break through that. So. 200 is offering quite a lot of resistance. We are we fell towards a $20 to $25 range and then we turned around. So, yes, if we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we are going to back towards these highs here at 28.25 and then head towards $30. Technical indicators are turning around. So, yes, it's going to be interesting basically to see. We are still in the uptrend here. It's basically been very choppy for the last few months, but uh, we are still in a uptrend line. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has bounced back today, found the resistance at the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are all turning around. So it's, if we manage to take out the 20 exponential, then we'll probably go back towards 1300. Break below the 50 moving average opens the door back to these previous lows at 11.16. Otherwise, it's looking fairly good for for platinum yet again. We had this, we got way up ahead of ourselves, broke down, and now we are rallying back. So let's look at pallium. So this was not what I was supposed to look at. There. So yes, we have had this fall back towards the 200 moving average. And as I have said many times for this market, we are trading basically in a square of the highs of 2.5 and the very lows of 2.2, 2.1, give or take. And the 200 moving average offering quite a lot of support. So you can offer basically notch this right up towards the 200 moving average and say that it's basically where we are at this current stage. But Otherwise, the 2.1 and 2.2 round there to one has been where we have bounced in the past. So break below the 200 moving average opens the door to 
and that's most likely going to offer quite a lot of support. Otherwise, um, I would only trade this at the highs and the very lows. Trading in the middle is uh, what I would consider a complete gambling. Taking indicators are turning around at this current stage. So yes, if we have a bounce from the 200 moving average, we could head towards the 20 and the 50. Yes, so let's look at aluminium. Yes, aluminium is uh, basically all over the place. Uh, looking at this is, uh, yeah, it is, uh, it is, uh, it's basically all over the place. It just say, take it at that. So we have the highs here at uh, 22.12. Broke down towards uh, 20.75. And now we're trading just above the 50 moving, uh, 20 exponential moving average. Technical units are turning around for this. So they are negative uh, or looking really negative. We're still trading above zero here in the MACD. So, so uh, at, considering that we are still in uptrend, which we very much are, but we got way ahead of ourselves in this move. We need to pull back and uh, it, it's getting really choppiness. It's really difficult and really risky to trade this. Break below the 20 opens the door to these previous highs here. That is at the 2067 and the 50 moving average at 2038. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has a dropped off the face of the earth all the way down to the 200 moving average and then bounce from the 200 moving average we did see a rally here uh, on uh, on friday and then we uh, basically fell off cliff yet again so yeah this looks odd uh, reason why we found the support here is probably this because this is the first of all we have the 200 moving average here and these are the, also the previous highs if we fall below the 200 moving average, then that is just a complete tidal wave all the way down to 1250, uh, till 12,500. Sorry. So I don't think that is going to be the case. And the reason for that is because the RSI is at 32. It will become single digits if it fell like this further. Um, so, yes, this has, um, you can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for this and see that we have the 50 right here so we could go a little bit lower but this area here should offer massive support for this market uh, break below this opens the door to the 61.8 at 14,184 but i would be very surprised if we break below this um, instead of rallying if you manage to take out these previous highs here then that opens the door to the 20 exponential so let's look at sugar and sugar has fallen yet again and we ra basically rallied towards the 20 exponential broke down yesterday and then yet again today we are broken down technically the are looking dreadful for for sugar and we could see this uh, well fall further down to 0 0.15 that is possible or these previous sides here at the 0 0.15 51 uh, we have occasionally dropped below the 50 moving average, stayed here for a few days, and then rallied eventually. But uh, at this point, it is, has been a massive drop in this market, and uh, these technical leaders are still looking very, very, um, very uh, bearish. So let's look at cotton. So cotton also fell off a cliff today. We went all the way down to the 50 moving average. Uh, and uh, yes, we settled right above the 50 moving average. So this is a full body here. Um, so that usually is a very uh, negative sign, a very bearish sign that we could fall even further. A break below the 50, that opens the door to these previous lows in this area here at 0 0.80. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. So uh, yes, I would... I would look for a pullback here in our, uh, from the 50 if I enter this market here. With, uh, but at this point, I would wait and see where how far this would go. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa, 
did find resistance here at uh, 2.6 and we have the support here at 2.3 and now we're running into uh, resistance at support at the 50 moving average we run at the 50 and the 20 and uh, to be fair honest stay away from this market it is basically all over the place and extremely risky to uh, to trade this uh, yes that's basically all i have to say for this it's basically all over the place and usually that's a complete gamble instead of uh, seeing a gradual grind to the upside or the downside this is just going up and down and everywhere so let's look at wheat so wheat has bounced back from its pullback yesterday up to 639 now we're trading above the 20 exponential and that is a, a very positive sign so we stopped basically about the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are turning around for this, uh, for for wheat. So this is looking more promising. If we man manage to take out these previous highs here, which is uh, many of them, then we could head towards uh, 684 and then 680, no, 691. So that is to be seen. But we have been in this place several times in the past, and every single time we have broken down. We are still in the uptrend here. Uh, but we're kind of going, we have kind of gone sideways uh, for the last few weeks. So, I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support, uh, support the channel. You're welcome to write to me on the Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you.